disciplinary code that you have adhered to throughout the period. I pray that Allah accepts our collective prayers, continues to shower his grace, mercies and peace on our nation, and makes her great and strong. Let me congratulate again our iconic National Chief Imam, Sheikh Dr. Muz, Dr. Usma Nuhu Sharabatu, on his 100th birthday, joining the exclusive club of Centennials. By every measure, it is a blessed and privileged club. The National Chief Imam's guidance of the Muslim flock in Ghana has been truly exemplary and we continue to pray for Almighty's blessings of wisdom, good health, long life and prosperity for him. Ulama, Jama, inculcating all the virtues in Ramadan is good, but upholding these virtues and making them a part of our lives are the best. If there are any Muslim citizens who are in a hurry to remove the garb of Ramadan, and resume the business as usual attitude. I urge you to reflect on the word as contained in the Quran and I quote, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may attain righteousness, unquote. I believe our nation needs all the virtues that Islam requires us to cultivate during the month of Ramadan. These include good neighborliness, sacrifice, and discipline. Each one of us is an integral part of our nation. And for most parts, we are defined by how well our nation does. We must therefore be prepared to uphold these virtues, to help ensure that our nation makes a desired progress, which will then allow us as citizens to realize our hopes and aspirations. You are as respected as the national passport that you hold. We would all agree that an unsuccessful citizen of a successful country is accorded better courtesies than a successful citizen of an unsuccessful country. On my part, I want to assure that my government is committed to the task of delivering prosperity to the Ghanaian people. To that extent, every policy that we have pursued so far has been meant to engender inclusiveness so that we can move away from the old system of governance that left many Ghanaians at the periphery. I set up the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zongo Development specifically to make the inner cities and Zongo communities central parts of our nation's development agenda. We want to ensure that inner cities and Zogo communities no longer become exclusion zones for breeding despair and, and hopelessness. The task may be daunting, but our determination is unwavering. There are over 1,080 Zongo communities in Ghana, each clamoring for much needed interventions to let make life more bearable and com comfortable. That certainly puts enormous pressure on the minister. But I chose a minister for you who has passion and whose dedication to Zongo communities is not in doubt. I urge you to give him the maximum cooperation that is needed to deliver on the vision of the government. Let us be focused as we embark on the journey towards bringing prosperity to the over four million people who live in our Zongo communities. As Allah states in the Quran, and I quote, O you who believe, persevere in patience and constancy. Vie in such perseverance, strengthen each other, and be pious that you may prosper. <coughs> National Chief Imam, Zongo Chief, Zulama. I'm happy to announce that the Minister for Finance has signed a commencement warrant for the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zongo Development to begin the spending on com Zongo communities 
from the Zongo Development Fund allocation in the 2019 budget. The provision of water systems, <coughs> rehabilitation of school blocks, and the building of new ones, provision of desks for Islamic schools, and the rehabilitation of tertiary drains amongst many other projects will help resolve some of the many challenges that bedevil our Zongo communities. <coughs> the officers of the Zongo Development Fund, based on the many requests that they have received from Zongo, various Zongo communities, have already translated the commencement warrant into actionable projects, and work on these various projects should start very soon. National Chief Imam Ulama, if these development initiatives will come to fruition, then we must maintain the peace in our country. Today, we are the envy of the world when it comes to the peaceful coexistence of different religious communities. I believe the visit of the National Chief Imam to Christ the King Church to meet with Father Campbell, his parish priest, as a gesture of solidarity should be duly celebrated. The BBC and other international news networks carried this singular act because it rarely happens anywhere else. Recently, during the Vice President's Ramadan tour, I saw pictures of him and the heads of all the major Christian churches in Kukum in the Ahafu region. These Christian leaders, on hearing that the Vice President was in the central mosque in their town, went to the mosque to be with him and to bond with the Muslim community of Kukum. Just last Saturday, the Dakuman branch of the Seventh-day Adventist Church dedicated that day as Muslim Relations Day. And all his congregants dressed like Muslims and served fruits later in the day to the mosque closest to their church. These and many more beautiful spectacles that unfold in our country should not be taken for granted. We must continue to work to preserve our culture of religious tolerance. We cannot surrender this beautiful way of life for anything, and certainly not to people who seek to pervert religious beliefs. I urge all of you not to let, let agents provocateurs destroy our unique way of life. I know you have read of threats and actual attacks by Christian and Muslim miscreants in the West Africa region and other parts of the world. We do not ever want this phenomenon to occur in our country. While the security agencies work to keep all of us safe, I encourage you to report suspicious characters who come into your communities to take advantage of our well-acclaimed hospitality to unleash mayhem on our country to the police. Let us also exercise restraint in the face of provocation, for a lack of restraint will only feed into the destructive plans of these miscreants who seek to destroy in the name of religion. I applaud the vigilance of Messieurs Gregory Ban Bame and Judge George Bonfondon, members of the Re Roman Catholic Church in Hamile, in the Upper, Re Upper West Region, who together with the church leaders alerted the police about the presence in the church of an armed person who turned out to be a, na a national of our neighboring country of Burkina Faso. The person is in custody. In conclusion, Ulama, Jama, National Imam, I wish you blissful and peaceful Eid al-Fitr celebrations. To the youth, I urge you to celebrate with caution. The nation needs you alive. May God continue to bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong.
Salam alaikum. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. We thank you, Mr. President, for this inspiring speech. We now call on Honorable uh, Minister for Zongo Development and Inner Cities, Honorable Mustafa Ahmed, to do a presentation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Um, National Chief Imam Sarakunan Zango Jama'a um, President Shugaban Kasa President Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado Yana Mamuduka Baraka Dasala Sabo Dashi Yache Wai Nzo Nsaya Masayenshi Yaso Ngaida National Chief Imam Yana da wana bukadang hanu shindaze ba sarakuna dali mamai yaso aje achi sala so da shi yana muku baraka da sala sabo da shi na kira representative and council of zongo chief yazo ya anshi donation and council of zongo chief. We are very grateful Thank to you. the president. Thank you. So, um, when you come, representative national chief Imam Shima Yazoya and Shima Latifu. Thank you very much. Protocol. The Kuma organizing committee in the Suka Bari, Wanga, Jama, Mukataru, the Kyo Chairman National Organizing Committee. Thank you very much, and we are grateful to the President. Thank you very much. The President is also very grateful to the organizing committee. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. We now have the privilege to call on Allah Haji Musa Baba to give a short vote of thanks. Akbar, 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 Allah Akbar. On behalf of the National Chief Imam Sheikh Usman Nuhu Sharubutu and the entire Islamic community here assembled, I welcome His Excellency the President Nana Abdu Dankwa Akufuadu to this year chapter of Eid Fitr prayers. We also Hi, thank you very much. Welcome back. Uh, we are still at the Black Star Square here uh, in Accra, where we just had uh, a speech delivered. Nana Adudan Kwakufado, the President of the Republic of Ghana. At no cost to parents by all children, Mr. President, I'm also a beneficiary. Free of money which will have been used to pay such fees. Other uses in the poverty, northern tragedy, besides enhancing the future progress of our children and the country at large. We also thank you for the Zongo Ministry and the Zongo Development Fund to improve the condition of the Zongo community. Your Excellency, we have promised to adhere to the admonition of the National Chief Imam regarding the maintenance of harmonious existence with our Christian counterparts and other religious people in the country. The National Chief Imam has also made his visit to the Kaiser the King Church as part of his centenary celebration continue to resonate across the country and beyond. Mr. President, we shall do even more towards maintaining the peace we are enjoying in the country. An example of that, we have agreed to suspend drumming and dancing to respect the other faith and the traditional conference in the dance space during this year's annual festival. And that has been after me, may I take this opportunity to pray for Almighty Allah to guide the President and his family, the ministers, and all the government leaders. Let me take this opportunity to thank the following organization for support which made this celebration a success. The Ghana Armed Forces, the Ghana Police Service, the Ghana Broadcasting Service, the Ghana Television, Metro TV, TV, Triadon TV, Net, and all the FM stations, the State Protocol, Electricity, the fire service, and all the things we cannot mention now. Assalamu alaikum, Jamal. Mr. President, before I end my vote of thanks, I want to give you a small word. Say what you like. 
all things lawful, I pick you that we may be. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. We now going to have a special prayer for the nation, my eminent the national chief man. But before that, Mr. President, we would like you to know the special, we would like to uh, thank the Vice President, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Wambia, who has been supportive to our committee. He has been very, very supportive to our committee. We would like to thank him very much. Your Honor, we would like to thank you, Jama, Munkei, Lokachi, Malanjei, Makasa, Adua. Yeima Shukabankasa, Adua. Yeima Amnansi, Adua. The Minister of Tishi. Allah, I came to you. Al-Barqa Manzuala, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Zul, Abim Magana, Malanjei, Ma Shukabankasa. Bail Malan, Yaish, Adua, Yakari. Shukabankasa, Jee, Tashi. Kowa, Yes, Toro, Zawni. Shukabankasa, Jee, Fara, Tashi. Baya, Ya, Tashi, Amarina, Malanjei, Bishi. Kowa, Yes, Toro, Zawni. Yenda, Aka, Buda, Amuni, Kiyan, Zul, Allah, Mwibi, Wani, Ka, Kowa, Yes, Ma. Increase our wisdom. Yeah. Then, talking about the debts that they are providing, this will go a long way in yeah. helping our educational yeah. institutions. That's right. That's right. I'm praying that the Macarante should also have some of this, yeah. or that's should be part and parcel of this. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> يسر لوزا لنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته غاشيا متسديا من غزية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو آلم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المعزل العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله ما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ والمصور له الاسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والارض وهو العزيز الحكيم اللهم انا نسالك امنا ونعوذ بك من جور كل شاعر ومكر كل ماكر وسير كل سائر وبغي كل باك واسد كل حاسد وكشف كل كاشف ويل كل متعجل وشمادة كل شابك بسر الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إلى صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين آمين شوف ما قسم ذيته يا الله كيش لا في أجاور في الله آمين سر الإله بقريش الإله بمرجلة الشتاء والسيد فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوه وآمنهم من هذا آمين 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 So, as we move on, we have now come to the climax of the fashion. Let us all remain seated while this is uh, His Excellency the President will take his leave. Therefore, don't even give room for it to emerge. That is only what we are. And you see, I said at the beginning that Muslim always has a duty, as a religious duty, to be very, very, very vigilant and assist the police service to actually execute and continue to make Ghana a marker of West Africa. The President of the Republic of Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. That's a very good one. Mashallah, mashallah. Yes. Shaking hands and then, mashallah. Yeah. That's the President of the Council.